All right, I have one more thing for you in the show today, and that is a thing of the moment. Speaking of colors, my pick is actually a color picker and palette for the Mac. It's called SIP, S-I-P. And I don't know if that stands for anything. SIPapp.io is the link. I'll have a link to it in the show notes at maccast.com. But this handy little utility actually gives you a little menu bar item that allows you to go in and create color palettes and select and save colors into those palettes so you can use them in your Mac apps. So it's great for designers. It's great for developers like myself who you know, are building palettes for different websites and stuff like that. It integrates with your apps like Photoshop and Illustrator, Xcode, Sublime Text, you know, all your favorite text editors. It has support for a bunch of the various color formats, including hex and RGB, HSB, all of them. Uh, The palettes have this great little dock that is a tiny palette that can sit on the side of your display, and you can have all of them there for quick access. You can control where it shows up on your screen but it's really minute and kind of out of the way and so when you're switching between different apps uh, you can go in and you can pick colors you can add colors using the you know the color wheels color picker i often am just sampling colors from palettes that i find and it's really great i create palettes for all my clients when i'm working on a website it has keyboard shortcuts that allow you to quickly access and add those colors use those colors update them. You can create your own custom names, all that sort of stuff. It even has a built-in contrast checker. So if you're a web developer like me, you can make sure, or an app developer as well, you can make sure that your colors meet accessibility standards, that they're high enough contrast off of each other uh, that you make them accessible and ensure your websites and your apps are accessible to everybody. So It's super, super handy. Great little utility and app if you work with color in any way. Uh, It's just 10 bucks with one year of updates. So $10 US for the price. So not very expensive. And uh, that is my thing of the moment for this week. 